Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia if you've never been here before but if you have, hi girls and welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back. You guys today we're going shopping. We're going to do a little bit of retail therapy. We're going to two of my favorite stores, Marshalls and Targets. We're probably going to go to Marshalls first just because I'd rather save a dollar. I really just miss going to the stores and just looking around for no reason and letting the stores tell me what I need. I don't need anything but what are we going to do about it? you know so we're gonna go over there i'll i think i'm gonna show you guys what i like what i don't like what i recommend let's just go and hang out it's because i haven't hung out with you guys in so long and this is one of my favorite videos to film shopping videos chef's kiss love them okay so the first place i came to was the dress section and my birthday is coming up so i wanted to get something cute you know just for the pictures at least but i got these little cute spring dresses they have so many nice spring dresses so i have this green one very cute very springy and then i found this blue one which is like very easter vibes look at it super cute i'm kind of leaning towards the blue one but you let me know and then i have this pink one so cute hmm. i think i like these two more than the green one i don't know I'm usually also not like a flower dress girl. I don't even like wearing flowers normally, but these three, like, I don't know why they just caught my attention. I'm gonna hang on to them just to see which one I end up getting so far. I think I'm more into the blue one so far, but I guess we'll see what we end up doing at the end. I'm just gonna put them in my basket for now. Oh my God, se salieron todos. But on this side of me, look how pretty these cups look. Aren't they so nice? Obviously, I don't need any more cups, but they just look so pretty. My obsession with bags and my obsession with Adidas. Adidas is one of my favorite brands. I found so many cute tote bags. First, this blue one, which is so pretty. It's huge, pretty spacious. I love the baby blue color, so cute. And then the inside, look at that space. It's so cute, and then you can wear it like, you know shoulder bag and then they also have that one in a tan color which is also so pretty and just goes with everything and they also have a smaller toe <gasps> so i won't look how cute this is like fluffy super cute i will say though i do like the bigger ones more like this one and this one i think i like the blue one better i don't know Okay, so after debating and holding it for a long, long time, I think I'm just going to leave it because I don't need it. I don't even know when I would use this. I think the only time I'd use it is if I'm like traveling or I need to carry a bunch of stuff because of water bottle packs. I think this is so cute though for like a diaper bag for anyone who has babies. And it's so stylish and so cute. You can put the bottles here. So cute. But yes, I do not need it. So I'm going to leave it, but it's so pretty. I think for moms, this is a good option. And they also have the tan which I, these would be super cute diaper bags super cute not yet for me but those are cute look how cute this glassware is they're so pretty and look at this little spring one back here adorable marshall's is so packed today i feel like i'm hiding everywhere just to film a little bit but i found these two mineral sunscreens just because it's already starting to get nice and warm out so I want to protect my skin. I'm leaning more towards this one because it only has one ingredient and it's a zinc oxide and it's clean ingredients. This one has two, but it's a little bit bigger. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take this one. We came across the honey section and look how cute this little bear one and it's glass. It's so adorable. It's $3.99. And then I also found Manuka honey, which is also really, really good. And they have it here for $14.99. Okay, let's just go to Target. <laughs> So I found this whole section of sunscreens and you'll never guess. I found a super goop. I'm taking it. So we're not in Target. I left Marshalls because it was so hectic over there. Like super, super hectic. I can't even take it anymore. I was like, my head was hurting. But anyways, I made it to the supplement section and I wanted to tell you guys about Let Me Debloat. It works so good. I have noticed such a huge difference. I actually finished mine already. But it works amazing like i wake up with like the flattest tummy ever not the flattest because i'm still trying to heal my stomach but i wake up with a flat stomach which is kind of rare for me because as you guys know i've been dealing with my gut issues but this has helped me a lot i also want to try the bye bye bloat by love wellness because i've heard great things about this one the ingredients are also amazing they use flaxseed powder ginger powder just like a bunch of really good things and I do want to try them, but I just, I don't know. I really want to research stuff before I start 
putting stuff into my body also so here's i guess a quick view of what i'm looking at i'm looking at the love wellness products and i actually saw most of these at marshall's for 6.99 i saw this one and then i saw the probiotics one and then i saw this one too the detox screens but honestly i was just scared to get actual supplements at marshall's the day was still good but i just didn't want to risk it because as you guys know i'm trying to heal my gut and i don't want to like put stuff in and then have it hurt me again so i want to really do my research before i buy any more supplements like that i think i want to stick to the ones that i love first okay i'm walking towards the finery section which is one of my favorite scents here at target one of my favorite fragrances here at target because it smells so good they have so many dupes for high-end perfumes and these are it right here i heard they did come out with new lines so we will see my favorite one was the not not another cherry one because it smelled like the tom ford one which is four hundred dollars and it was gonna say in real life but four hundred dollars like in the tom ford one like the original one so i heard the new one is like pistachio something which is this one right here okay so i think this is one of the new ones the pistachio one it smells good oh, no. it's not as good it smells like a very sweet gourmand one which i wouldn't expect from pistachio but it smells i smell like a vanilla scent mm, this one's actually pretty yummy it's 14.99 i think which one else magnetic candy i don't know if this one's new Ooh, that one smells good too i don't like this one <laughs> i'm a musk they also have this like Frenchie brand, which I heard works really good. I've been wanting to get my hands on the vanilla one, which is always sold out. This is the only one. These are the only two ones they have in stock. The lavender one, and then what is this one? A citrus amber one. It smells good, but I like citrus more for like my home. You know, like the clean vibes. And then lavender, like yellow mead. Actually, it smells really good. It doesn't smell like a traditional lavender, but the bottles are leaking i don't know if that's a normal thing with frenchie bottles but it's leaking girl it's leaking <sighs> what a night and day difference from target and marshall's you guys i was so stressed in marshall's like i don't know it was just too much for me but i'm so glad i'm here at target <sighs> i love it I'm just browsing around seeing what they have i used to get this one that works really good but then i started getting this one which is more affordable and it works just as great it honestly healed my lips so fast i highly recommend this one okay guys so i have two updates one i got these these are my favorite razors ever and then i came to hide in the cat section because okay so i noticed there's this older man and he keeps popping up in every single aisle that i'm in like and then he like look at random things and i move pretty fast so i'm like looking at this and then i'll go to another aisle and i'll look at something and then i'll come back right but el senor like he kind of goes to each aisle and i'm like looking around right now right but <clears throat> my husband is outside thankfully so i will call him if i need assistance but this is just your warning to be really really careful okay let's go to the ice cream section because si me sigue hasta acá el señor like come on I'm like trying not to be nervous, but I'm so nervous, you know. Okay, so I stopped at this little wellness section. And you guys know that I am currently, I'm not a wellness girly, but I'm trying my best to be. And I heard about this depacho thing that is supposedly it's like really, really good for you. So you go because it's fermented. So I kind of want to try it. They do have a sale of two for five today. I've also been wanting to try Olipop and I tried Poppy for the first time yesterday. And it was pretty good. I did like it. Okay, let's go to the... <laughs> Paranoid. it's notice like he he looks like he has a list and like he but the thing is that i'm i'm moving way too fast for him to do that too like does that make sense like oh i found him okay brb i'm gonna text my husband real quick okay so my husband is coming in i like to think of myself as pretty like observant as a pretty observant person especially when i'm by myself even when i'm filming like specifically when i'm filming because i know that i'm being like distracted so I, I'm checking everywhere, you know? So <laughs> I told him to just come because I think it's just, it was too much coincidence, so. Okay, well, <laughs> while I'm waiting for him, I ended up getting this ice cream. This is a cookies and cream ice cream. It is so good, it's a Target brand. This is one of the best the best ice cream that i have ever tried like it is so good the cookie is so soft the cookies and cream ice cream tastes like it tastes so yummy like super super yummy super chocolatey if you like chocolate so i'm just going in circles okay let me just pause until my husband comes 
I've never tried this tiramisu one, but it looks really good. And I have learned that this favorite day brand is like really good. All right, guys, so it's actually the next day. I didn't end up vlogging more after my husband came to rescue me from Target, which I just wanted to speak on that a little bit before I show you guys the haul of what I bought. I just wanna say, just be really, really careful and be aware of your surroundings because I have heard horror stories specifically with Target. I don't know why, like I think uh, predators just know that like girls go by themselves a lot to Target. And we're, yeah, you know, we're just shopping, enjoying our time. We're not really paying attention to potential threats as much because we're, you know, we're, we're distracted. We're having a good time. But I just wanted to say like, this is your sign to be very, very careful. I have heard that Target has been a hotspot for trafficking and it is just so scary. I honestly have heard horror stories where girls are being followed around the store and then while they're at the checkout, this person is like waiting for them outside because people have been followed. It is just so, so scary. I just wanna say, if you ever feel like you are in danger or you feel threatened, um, do not be afraid to ask for help. Do call. I don't care if you make a scene. Like, call security. Call whoever you need to call. Like, you take care of yourself. You put yourself as a priority. Have someone escort you to your car. Just be safe because it is so, so scary. And it is so terrifying to feel like someone has chosen you to do god knows what but anyways my husband came he saved me and this man you guys so he was an older man he was in like the makeup section which i already thought was kind of weird he did have like a list so in my head i was like maybe his wife gave him a list and he's like okay let me get all the stuff on the list right so i first found him um i was like at the elf section i actually wanted to get a concealer but i didn't even have time to get a concealer because i was scared so i saw him there at the elf section and then I don't usually like to be vlogging, but for the most part, I like to just stop my filming and I'll either come back, finish up what I have to say quickly and then move on to the next place. Just because I don't like to make people uncomfortable, especially because I have a screen staring at them and I don't want to like you know, disturb people's privacy. So I stopped recording there and I moved to another section. And when I moved to the other section, I noticed him coming over here. So I didn't think too much because I was like, this guy, it, he's a man in the wild in Target with a list and he's probably like, I don't know what any of this is, right? That's what I thought at first. So I wasn't like, I just thought it was, I, I wasn't really like paying too much attention. I just, I noticed him. So then I went like to the supplement section and I saw him like around there. I didn't even get to film right after I just like moved to the fragrance fragrance section and i saw him next to me again and then i was like in my head i this is where it started to get suspicious for me because in my head i was like if you have a list like why aren't you grabbing anything right so then i was like okay let me go to the travel section i wanted to get some wipes you know like the little wet ones wipes like to like sanitize so i went over there and he comes up next to me again and he still has nothing in his hand so at this point we have been together like at least three different times in three different spots and he still has got nothing so then we're at the travel section and in my head i'm like okay you can't be confused here there's like toothbrushes deodorant like shampoo like what do you need you should know what what you need right so he's standing next to me at this point and at this point he's closer to the white piece than i am like the aisle right like i'm over here and he's like here but he's still like near me right so i didn't want to go be like let me get the wipes, you know? <laughs> but I was like, let me just stand here for a second to see what he gets. Like, I want to see him get something to, to just calm myself down. So we're just both staring at the this little mini travel section together. And he doesn't get anything. I'm there for like, felt like a long time, but it was probably like a minute. Then I ended up grabbing like some razors that are right there because I do like those kind of razors. And I was like, okay, let me grab this and move. I found like the lip thingy that I was showing you guys, which is like the Vaseline lips. And that was currently in the pharmacy section. So I see him in the corner of my eye, like back here. And at this point, I'm getting a little nervous. I was like, let's just go to the cat section. I grabbed that and I was like, let me go to the cat section. The cat section was like a good few aisles down, like further down. So I was like, if he goes all the way over here, then like... On. which i don't know why i thought of the cat section because he's an older man so it's most likely that he does have a cat so it wouldn't be weird so i get myself to the cat section and that's when i talk to you guys and tell you guys like hey i think i'm being followed okay so at this point this guy has been somewhere in my premises for like four four times at least four times and he has got nothing okay he has a list he started in the makeup section and he has nothing okay and at some point i was like maybe he's gonna ask me like 
do you know what this is? You, you know, something like what? It just was weird, right? So I started to get nervous at this point. I was like, let me go to the ice cream section because at this point it's like makeup section, all the way over here, cat section, and then the, the ice cream section was like over here, right? So I was like, let me go to the ice cream section. I wanted to get some ice cream anyways. So I go over there and I'm like, okay, at this point, if I see him again, he should have something, at least a detergent, look, pretend mister. So then I go to the ice cream section and like, I'm already debating, like, I'm just going to call my husband because I don't really feel safe anymore. <laughs> so I go over there. Um, I'm, I, I already had called my husband and he was on his way. Thankfully, my husband was right outside. So he was already coming into the store. But I did notice the man one more time by the produce section, like, which I can see him. Like, we can see each other. And, I, and he still has nothing in his hands. And I'm like kind of scared, right, at this point. So I'm like just kind of like pacing back and forth by the ice cream aisle because my husband was going to meet me there. And then my husband comes and I'm just like looking around and I never see the man again. I never saw him again. I was like trying to look around, but I just never saw him again. And that just freaked me out. I, like as soon as my husband came, like I never saw the man. I don't know what happened to him. I don't even know. Like honestly, it could have just been me being paranoid. But I felt like four plus times of you being around me in my perimeter, and I was mind you, I was moving fast. Like I was kind of like, okay, look at this. Next, until like you know. So it was just weird to me. I didn't like the vibes. I was a little scared. But anyways, I just wasn't really in the mood to film after that. I was just kind of like, let's just go home. I just felt a little icky. Like, I just want to go home. Anyways, that was a very long story, right? But anyways, okay, guys. Oh my God, we went to Ross and my husband got this little Mickey Mouse little t-shirt for me. And it's so cute. He's like wearing his like little cowboy outfit. Super cute. Anyway, okay, let's show you guys the haul. You guys already pretty much saw what I got. I did end up getting this dress. Um, I don't even know if I showed you guys this one. But... It's like a longer dress and it has um, kind of like a little point at the bottom. <laughs> but this is the last one that I found, however. I, and it stretches, so this is the only reason why I was like, let me just gamble with it. And it was like, there was no more. There was no more in any size of this dress. And I just fell in love with it. You guys, I am a size medium, okay? I don't even know if you guys can see this. I'll try to show you guys. That says extra small. Ain't no way. I'm an extra small. Like, there's just no way. But I was like, let me just see if I can put on a faja. And, like, I can, like, slip it in and it's stretchy, right? But I'm going to try that. And then if it doesn't work. But I feel like it will. I feel like it's stretchy enough that it'll, like, fit me. I don't know. But this is, oh, I just feel like it's going to look so pretty. I can't wait. I am going to try it on, hopefully, today and see if i have to return it or not but i hope it fits and then i got the razors that i got from where that man was these razors are like two to three dollars and they work pretty good i do like them for disposable razors i think they work great i always love like five plus blades i feel like i get i get the closest shape so i got these and then from marshall's i did end up getting these super goop I was so excited. I always see TikToks of people finding Super Goop at Marshalls and, you know, Ross and all these places. But I've never been so lucky to find it. But I found it. Oh, I'm so excited. And the days have been getting so sunny and so pretty and so warm. I love it. Okay, well, that's all I got. Not very exciting. But um, my husband is going to come home soon. I do want to make some Pop-Tarts. What time is it? 321. I do want to make some pop tarts because it's super easy to make homemade pop tarts. I'll show you guys. And then I'm gonna make us a sandwich and then we're gonna go to Costco. Of course, I always promise that I'm gonna take you guys with me to Costco and then I never do because I just get so intimidated at Costco. There's so many people all the time and I, I just get a little nervous. But we're actually gonna go actually only get Italian sausage because today, fun fact, is actually pie day. It's 314, March 14th. And we're gonna make pizza. We have the Kirkland frozen pizza, but um, I just wanna add some Italian sausage on them because it's one of my favorite and extra protein. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let me set myself up and then I'll show you guys how we make the Pop-Tarts. Okay, so Pop-Tarts, oh my God. I feel like that girl from TikTok was like, my kids wanted chicken nuggets, so I made them from scratch and she like goes out there and like, you know, does all that extreme stuff. You know what I'm talking about? But anyways, 
making pop tarts from scratch not even, not even from scratch assisted from scratch but it is so easy you really only need like three or four ingredients i'll show you guys you need pie crust like this you need butter and then you need your filling which i'm gonna do strawberry preserves i get this one from costco but you can really fill it with anything you could do even s'mores pop tarts chocolate pop tarts like ooh, put some nutella in there mm -hmm. so delicious and then for the frosting all you need is powdered sugar and milk and that is it and then you can put some like sprinkles if you want to on top i have this thing it looks a little oily because i put some oil on here just to line it so it doesn't stick i get pie crust i think i don't know if you can use puff pastry but i've always just used pie crust and do this you kind of want to thin it out a little more i like to stretch mine just so it's a little bit thinner you're gonna need two of these it com the package comes with two All right, so it looks like this, and then my tray is kind of small, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess off. So I'm just gonna cut all these edges off because I don't want them. And now you have like a perfect little square, and then you gently peel off the first layer, just kind of set it off to the side for a second. And then I spread mine a little bit too much here and I have kind of like a little hole. So I'm just going to have get some of my excess one and just patch her up real quick like this. It's super easy honestly to make pop tarts. And then you just make get your filling and spread it like a nice thin layer. Make sure to leave like two inches from the side because you are going to need to pinch that. So I'm just going to spread mine out. It's also probably fun like to do with your kids because it's so easy. They could each make their own pop tart, customize it however they want. Okay, I think that's a good amount of filling right there. I'm going to take the other piece and just lay it flat on top of it. Okay, so now that I have pinched it, I'm just going to take a fork and kind of just press it down. It looks like this. I kind of had like a little bit of filling spill, which hopefully that's okay. So once you do that, seal all your seams. You just kind of want to go with the fork and just poke little holes just so that the steam has somewhere to go. And then you could do an egg wash if you want. I'm just going to add some melted butter and just kind of like smear it around there. Okay, and then you're just going to stick it in the oven at 375 for 18 minutes. Okay, I'm very much rushing right now because... Whew, I we have a place to go and I didn't even know I forgot but I have um, powdered sugar here and if you don't have powdered sugar fun fact you can make powdered sugar by just blending regular confectionate sugar normally you use regular milk but I only have almond milk right now so that's what I'm gonna use I don't actually have a measurement for this I just kind of pour milk little by little until I have like um, like a little paste mistake is I did the first time I made this and I made one huge one and I should have made like four individual ones or at least two but it is what it is okay and mine looks like this color like a clear color just because I use the almond milk um if you use regular milk it turns more white okay so I'm gonna put that there and then I have sprinkles these are like little heart sprinkles that I've had I'm just gonna drizzle some on top this is so adorable Alrighty guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. For spending the day with me, I really enjoyed having you guys here. I hope you guys learned a thing or two and just enjoyed your time over here on my channel. As always, I am so, so, so appreciative for you guys. And if you guys have any requests or anything that you guys have been liking on my channel, feel free to leave it in the comments down below so that I know what to film for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. You make it look easy. I don't understand. How you can love me the way that I am You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you run I found myself dreaming again The moment you leave, it goes blank in my head